Hey guys, I am tinkering with the new BT, trying to see uh, different power strings and that kind of thing. First off, I was able to achieve a considerable chunk of power above what I showed you in my main video on Ted's Holdover. In short, I was able to get about uh, the 900, excuse me, I was able to get the 23 grain slugs shooting at a max of about 1030 feet per second, the 26 grain slugs, 970 feet per second. So where I've got it right now, it is shooting uh, 26 grains at 950, 23 grains at 1000. That grants me about 32 shots at that power. Um, if you know me, my OCD is gonna kick in right away because there's 18 shots in each 22 mag. 2 mags is 36. So what I would like to do from here is just tone it down to like 990, uh, probably on the regulator mostly, and that will give me my two full magazines. I did adjust the hammer back here and through the adjustment spot, here's a close up of it. So I twisted that until, um, well basically until going back from seven to six, I saw no change. See, what that screw does back there is it changes the range of your power wheel. So you can crank it up to more power and that changes the whole range up to more power. Crank it to low power, the whole range lower power. So it's basically a, like, a, like a quick dial or a quick change for the power. But ultimately the power is controlled by the strength of the spring and rotating that screw in there. I think it's a 1.5 Miller, Miller, 1.5 meter, millimeter. Ah, turn that camera on, just mouthful of marbles. But yeah, the screw in the back of here. Turning it clockwise lowers the power, counterclockwise raises the power. And I basically raised it, like I said, till there was no difference between seven and six. Well, then I turn it to seven and I keep inching it back down until I see the power start to go lower. Then I just give it a little bit of crank to come back up. And now what I have is the best range I can do. See, if I'm, if I'm cranking that thing all the way, then basically seven, six, and five all do the exact same thing. So you lose a big chunk of your range, which is very handy for testing different ammunition. So don't go too far with it. And if you do, just turn it on seven, start cranking it back down until you can see that the power is in fact dropping off. And then there you're at the, you're at the optimal range then. I hope that makes sense. So where I'm gonna have this gun is the 23 grain Nielsen's and 23 grain uh, Javelins were just tip top. And the, I tested 10 Javelins uh, in my gun. Here's that string as it unfolds. So right at a thousand feet per second, you can see very steady shot string. The double regulator definitely at play to keep things that consistent. And I will say also, when you get one of these, if your FPS is jumping around a little bit, like more than you think it should, you know, 12, 14, keep shooting it. Everything is just kind of breaking in. My gun, when I first got it, was about a 10 FPS spread. Now it's like four, five. Um, it's just so consistent now. So. So keep going and everything will break in and get comfortable. Like anything new, you gotta break it in. It's a bike or a hoodie or wife. <laughs> at this speed, uh, where it's a thousand feet per second, I'm at, it's like just shy of 150, 145, something like that. So I'm gonna bring her on down to, to 140 and then uh, I'll be shooting 990, get two whole magazines and my OCD will be happy, my gun will be happy, and the birds will be miserable. I <laughs> uh, hope that helped you guys. Uh, whether you have this Wildcat or a regular Mark III Wildcat, uh, that information uh, is across the board. The tuning information I've given you is, is the same across the board. The only difference is that the BT has, of course, a bigger air reservoir, a bigger plenum, more power. There's no reason to think that you couldn't also have a regular older cylinder uh, Wildcat also have the same power, but you are gonna be giving up a lot of shots, mainly because you'd have to create a big plenum here, and if your cylinder goes from here to here, and 20% of your cylinders, that plenum, then you're losing you know, 20% shots for the sake of more power. Um, you could take a Wildcat that shoots pellets at you know, 70 shots and do all that tuning stuff to it, you're probably only gonna get about, my guess is one magazine, uh, one magazine out of it at this kind of power. That said, yeah, it should be possible. Maybe they'll uh, make an offering in the future for the Wildcat guys who want to keep the cylinder, don't like the bottle, that'd be cool. But for now, the high power one is the BT. That's it guys, I hope this helped, goodbye.